it's about forgiveness and the reason why you're unable to do that is because you're every time the memory comes back up you're instantly going back to how it made you feel when that memory happened like you're literally reliving it every single time it comes up Hey, it's Anna. So this video was requested. I did a poll on my Instagram and one of you lovely people asked me to do a video on how to heal your relationship with your parents. So I wanted to make this video, but it's such a complex topic. Like it can be so, so delicate and so painful for certain people and like everyone's experience is different. So I'm just gonna keep this kind of broad because I feel like it's also similar to how you forgive and heal your relationship with anyone, including yourself. Like it is about forgiveness and understanding and a lot of whole other things that I'm gonna get into, but I feel like there's so many ways to go about it and it's different for everyone. So it's really about doing what works best for you, you know, like it's your experience, it's your emotion that you're feeling and it's your connection with somebody else so it's really like a personal thing and something that only you can really come up with the answers in order to heal yourself like it's your responsibility to be honest and I don't mean that in a harsh way I just mean that like it's our own emotions and our own it's our own mind and so we are responsible. We're not responsible for how they behave. We're not responsible for our upbringing. We're not responsible for how people treat us, but we are responsible for how we heal. You know, like it's your emotion and it's your vessel and it's your happiness that you're trying to reach. So only you can do that for you and not necessarily even having an interaction with the person. Like you don't necessarily need to even speak to the person in order to heal yourself because it's an internal thing, but it is very complex and it is different for everyone. So I just want to make that clear that I'm not saying this is exactly how you do it. Like it's down to you and what works best for you. But with that being said, um, I really feel like when you think about the, um, the law of gender, which is a hermetic principle from the Kabbalion. When you think about the law of gender, everything has a gender and like, when I say gender, I mean the energy of masculine and feminine. And we all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Like that is what we are made up of because the masculine is the logical side and the feminine is the intuitive side. So knowing that our parents are the physical manifestation of the masculine and the feminine energy so like because they're the first people that you meet you know that's the first male person that you have a relationship with and a bond with and the first feminine person that you have a bond with so whilst we all have both masculine and feminine within us they are obviously the embodiment of a man and a woman and they are our parents they are the first people that we meet of those genders so like they kind of shape the foundation for your experience and they also instill your beliefs. That's literally where the brainwashing starts, to be honest, both, both negative and positive. Like they instill the um, negative beliefs and the positive beliefs in you based upon how they were raised by their parents or whoever it is that raised them. So like, I feel like I need to lay the foundation of this before I can get into the actual healing aspect. Because, like, when you understand the dynamic of that kind of relationship, and this is just based on my experience and what I'm learning. So, like, there's always room for improvement and always, like, more knowledge to gain and how to integrate that. But, um, so from my understanding, we are raised by our first, um, like, meeting and interaction with the divine masculine and feminine so when one of those aspects is taken away like maybe your mum was a single mum and your dad wasn't there like when that divine masculine is removed from the equation that has a huge impact on how you are raised on like the beliefs that you hold on how you then interact with other men no matter whether you're a child that's a boy or a girl, like how you then interact with other men is going to be affected by whether your father was around, by whether your mother was around, by 
the way that they were, the way that they treated you, you know, whether there was abuse, whether there was, um, like, abuse of themselves, like, alcohol and drugs and all those kind of things, like, our childhood literally shapes us. It literally does, you know, the environment, the way we're treated, the way we're taught how to behave, everything affects us. So when something traumatic happens or when there's a disconnect between the child and the parent or when a parent's absent or any of these things, obviously I've got to keep it kind of broad because I don't really know like what it is that needs healing for each individual person or the person that asked for me to talk about this. So I'm keeping it kind of broad, but um, when something kind of happens and it triggers an emotion in you, it gets trapped. Like these emotions get trapped, especially as children, because depending on how you're raised and what your parents taught you and whether they even allow their own emotions to flow through themselves too, it like you then become accustomed to their behaviors and you then take on their behaviors or you even take on your own kind of coping mechanism so oftentimes throughout our childhood especially when there's some kind of trauma our emotions aren't processed properly we're not really taught how to process our emotions because oftentimes our parents weren't taught how to process theirs either when you think about the year that we're in right now and how the last 100 or 200 years have been really like fucked up to be honest like real you know there's not much education going on because there was wars there was slavery there was all kinds of things going on and so our parents were kind of in survival mode no matter what race you are no matter what country you were brought up in like in everyone's own ways um for right or wrong, like this isn't about right or wrong, this is just saying that like people were brought up in households of survival and of not really taking the time to understand their emotions in themselves like as adults, let alone being able to then cater to their children's emotional needs and even have the awareness or the knowledge of how to do that, you know, like and this is not to excuse parents' behaviour but it's just to understand where they're coming from and the fact that like sometimes um, like some of you could have parents that had you when they were children themselves. Some of you could have parents that like really fucked up in many different ways. Like I don't know what your situations are, but I just feel like the first step is to put yourself in the person's shoes almost and not to um, like not to excuse their behaviour but just to understand their mental state because everything, the universe is mental, everything is about the mind. So where their mind was at with the behavior that they carried out, but because it once you understand where they're coming from, it can help you forgive yourself and forgive them, you know? And that doesn't mean excusing what they've done. That doesn't mean forgetting. It's just, you're trying to heal your own pain. You know, like it's about healing your own pain, healing yourself and freeing yourself from that burden because you can carry this along with you for the rest of your life. But all it does it is eat up at you, you know, because this is your emotion. This is your body and this is your mind. So it's eating up at you. And it's not really about the other person. But what you can do is understand where their mental perception and their environment was like, how were they raised, you know? were they raised by people that didn't really know what they were doing either. I feel like that's a really important thing to understand and acknowledge. And then also it helps you to do better for when you have children, if you decide to have them, you know, or if you already have them, because you can understand exactly what you don't want to do and exactly the kind of situation that they were in so that then you don't pass on those traumas which is why I feel like this is such a key topic to talk about because we really have been carrying traumas on for generations upon generations you know like instilling so much fear and so much pain and so much suffering and like basically what I just said <laughs> so I definitely feel like this is such an important thing to talk about that doesn't really get talked about that much but yeah I just don't like the idea of people carrying around so much 
pain and so much hurt and so much anger and like so many negative emotions that get blocked. They really get blocked in your chakras, like they get blocked in your energy centers, you know, in your in your vessel and in your spirit. They get blocked and stay there and it affects you. And we literally talked about this on um, the Validate Me podcast that I do with my best friend. Um, we did an episode with Young Furrow and he talked about the science behind that and how it creates fractures within you, within your being. And then you're walking around like a time bomb and you don't even realise that you are, you know, because all of these things build up over time. So this process, not just healing with your parents, but healing from everything, you know, um, it's so, so important, but it really is an internal, internal thing, as with everything, to be honest, and I know that that can kind of seem like, oh, for God's sake, <laughs> like, it's not very helpful, but it is an internal thing, you're healing for yourself, not necessarily for the other person, and you don't even need to have a conversation with them. It's something that you do inside your own mind and your own heart, and it's really a case of letting go of that pain, like allowing that pain to flow through you, cry it out as much as you need to, like go through the process of healing and how to actually activate that process, how to like start that process and allow those emotions to start flowing through you, I feel like it's to gain awareness, to understand why they did what they did, the kind of situation that they were in, where their mind was at when they did it, where they were coming from basically, and to look at all sides, look at how it made you feel, look at how they may have felt, look at kind of, I just feel like it's looking at everything, gaining the full perspective, not just in your shoes, but in theirs, and not just in either of yours, but seeing the bigger picture outside of all of it, you know, because we have come here to play roles, like, none of us are these people, we come here to play these people, because the, we're, we're playing certain roles for each other, so we can learn certain lessons, but that doesn't excuse people's behaviour, because they could have known better, and they could have done better, but, at the end of the day, like we are all human and we are all learning and some things maybe don't deserve forgiveness, you know, like some actions maybe are too, too much to allow them back in your space, you know, but that doesn't mean that you have to hold on to the pain that you feel every time you think about that thing, every time you think about the trauma that you experienced or the thing that happened, like, I feel like it's for your own sanity, for your own health, for your own peace of mind to really uncover everything about that experience and about that situation and to be able to really feel those emotions that you feel like there's nothing wrong with feeling hurt and feeling sad and feeling angry. There's nothing wrong with that and you should feel those emotions and you should allow yourself to feel them when they come up. But then it's the holding on to them that keeps us stuck. So when they come up, like literally allow yourself to experience that and to know why you're feeling it. So then once you know why, it kind of naturally releases by itself. I feel like it's just a conversation in your mind when the emotion comes up, you know? And that really is the healing process. The healing process is a daily thing of feeling the emotions, thinking about it, like talking to yourself about it, talking yourself through it, as if you were your own child, talking to yourself through everything that you're feeling, everything that you're thinking, and then as you like go through that, it starts to release by itself, because you're understanding it, and once you shed light on something, it will naturally like flow through, it has somewhere to go, it has a direction to go, almost, so yeah, you're like shedding light on on all of your pain, you know, instead of keeping them trapped in the darkness, basically, like, you're keeping the emotions trapped inside of you, and when you shed light on them, they start to release by themselves, it's not something that you need to control, it's not something that you need to worry and stress about and attach to, it's something that you need to relax, like, relax into, and I know that sounds kind of weird, like, how do you relax into pain, but, like, you relax into it by being kind to yourself, you relax into it by having compassion for yourself. Because this isn't about them, this is about how it made you feel. So you relax into it, you 
allow the healing to take place by treating yourself like you were your child, by loving on yourself like fully, you know? By going easy on yourself, by letting yourself feel these emotions, by allowing yourself a day to cry in your bed, by allowing yourself to go and have a bath because you feel really like shit and really sad right now. Like literally just having the compassion and giving yourself the space to feel it. Because really, you're already healed. There's nothing that you need to heal, you know? Like you're already a whole being. You're already love. You're already God. You're already source. You're already everything. So there's nothing that you actually need to heal. It's just that you're holding onto the emotion. And you're holding onto the memory. The memory plays over like a loop in your mind. And that's why you could literally say this about anything, whether it's your parents or any kind of experience even heartbreak really because it's about forgiveness and the reason why you're unable to do that is because you're every time the memory comes back up you're instantly going back to how it made you feel when that memory happened like you're literally reliving it every single time it comes up and that's what keeps you stuck you know so I've really realized that healing is actually just it's not stopping those memories because you can't stop those memories like they're a part of the human experience and it's in your mind. So there may be moments when a thought randomly comes into your head and you're brought back to that experience. But how that that memory makes you feel is the difference, you know? So like when something first happens, you're obviously in, in pain, like you're feeling all an, a full range of low emotions. But then a year later, when you look back on it, you may not feel as intensely all of these emotions because time has passed, you know, and you've been able to let go of them. But if you constantly, when that memory comes back up, if you're still feeling all of these emotions exactly how it, how you felt when it first happened, that's when you know that you're not letting go of these emotions. You're not seeing it from a higher perspective and you're still seeing it from when you were in it. So yeah to kind of summarize I just think it's really about shedding the light on the full situation really understanding where they came from like where they where they were at when they behaved the way that they did and their whole experience and really putting yourself in their shoes then acknowledging your own acknowledging your own pain your own thoughts how everything made you feel really acknowledging that for yourself and then trying to see the bigger picture of okay I can't change them they came here and this is the role that they choose to play like they don't want to better themselves or they made a mistake and they're trying to better themselves or whatever it is that they're doing like this is them this is who they are and this is me this is who I choose to be and this is for me like I choose to heal myself I choose to let go of these emotions because I don't want to feel what they made me feel you know like now you're in control of it so it's just about taking back control and really like shedding light on everything and allowing yourself to go through that process of feeling the emotions, of hearing the thoughts and of letting it all flow through you and letting it pass. So I really hope this video was helpful in some way and I feel like I could talk forever about all of these kind of topics but then I know I end up going back in cycles and like repeating myself so I think I'm going to leave it there but I may um, make another video on it. So if there's anything else that you want me to go further into or elaborate on, definitely leave me a comment down below or you can DM me on social media. My links to that will be in the description box below. And yeah, like I want to help. So if there's anything that I can help with, then definitely let me know and I will make more videos on it or I'll respond to you personally. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man